Hello everyone. Welcome to this lecture number 5 of this unit 6 computer aided process planning. This is Mr. Suyok Patil, a system professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering, Sharad Institute of Technology, College of Engineering, Hedra, Itzal Kandri. Today we are going to see this operation scheduling and CAQC that means the computer aided quality control. Okay. And this chapter computer aided process planning we are going to see the operation scheduling required in this manufacturing processes and the computer aided quality control. First of all, we will see what is mean by this operation scheduling or this introduction to this operations scheduling. Okay. Operation scheduling means this operation scheduling is a crucial. This operation scheduling is a critical to the success of an organization. Okay. However, it can be a very complicated task. This operation scheduling is this complicated task. This uh, we have to schedule this all these activities in this uh, manufacturing systems. And effective schedules are needed to meet this promised customer delivery dates and or inventory con targets. Okay, so this operation scheduling is basically required to control these inventories. In the that means this raw material inventory, in process inventory and this finished inventories as well as as we seen in the previous lecture and to control these inventories as well as to meet this customer deliveries or to promise the customer delivery dates okay this operations scheduling is required okay this operation scheduling helps to plan and to execute this uh, production schedule okay again this operation scheduling covers this following points or this uh, helps in this following areas okay this again assigns a job to a particular work center or a machine okay this operation scheduling and covers this area then again time of assignment of a job and completion okay this time of assignment and this time of completion of the job okay that is very again important in this production scheduling then allocation of the resources like manpower and material, manpower, material, allocation, then utilization of this is again very important, okay, in which this uh, operation scheduling helps. Then again, time, time of the sequence of the operations, feedback and control function to take care of these deviations, okay. So in order to avoid these deviations in the production or in this delivery time, okay, the feedback and control function is very much important and this operation scheduling helps in this area as well as okay now performance measures okay performance measure is again one of more important task in this operation scheduling okay and this basically helps in this job flow it, sorry it basically measured in terms of this job flow time make span then again past due work in process inventory the total inventory and the utilization okay okay from the manufacturer's perspective this identifying this performance measures to be used in selecting the schedule is very much important okay this identification of this schedule uh, selecting schedule is very important then again if the overall goals of this organization are to be achieved the schedules should reflect uh, mag managerially acceptable performance measures okay this goal of this scheduling is again measured into managerial acceptable performance measures and this following are the uh, some of the most common performance measures are described here so first one out of that is job flow time so in this job flow time the amount of shop time for the job is called as this job flow time okay job flow time means it is this amount of time on for amount of time on the shop flow okay so it includes this operation time then waiting time the process time then again delay time okay the delay time in terms of this component unavailability or machine breakdown times etc etc okay so this operation time waiting time delay time or as well as this process time all it includes in this first that is job flow time okay. similarly next second one it is max span 
okay in this max span the total time required to complete a group of the job is called as max span okay the total time required in this see to complete a group of this job is called as this max span next one it is past due okay in this past due the amount of time by which a job missed its due date okay past due means this amount of time by which this job is missed its due date okay so uh, we have to supply this our products to our customers within this due date but if any component is missed its due date so amount of by amount of this time by which this component is missed so that is nothing but this past due then next one it is work in process inventory okay a job a job residing in a component okay or a sub assembly inventory is called as work in process inventory okay so in this work in process inventory the component this inventory is nothing but this inventory before the finished products okay that means the components are available in the industries then uh, some of the sub, sub assemblies are also there okay so that is that comes under this work in process inventory then utilization okay the percentage of the work time productively spent by a machine or a worker is called as this utilization okay the percentage of this work time productively spent by this machines or workers or this is called as utilization okay now this is all about this performance measures okay on which this performance is measured objectives of this operations scheduling okay so, so in order to get this making efficient use of this labors this operation scheduling is required okay to make this efficient use of the labor this operation scheduling is required similarly making best possible use of this equipments that are available for this use okay utilizing this equipments is again very much important okay so in utilizing this equipment this operation scheduling is required increasing the profit increasing the output okay in again improving the service levels okay to so improve this service level operation scheduling helps or this is again one of the objective of this operation scheduling and maximizing the delivery performance that is meeting the delivery dates okay to meet the delivery dates minimizing this inventory inventory control this operation scheduling helps in inventory controlling as well as reducing the manufacturing time manufacturing time can be reduced here okay minimizing the production cost production cost can be reduced by operations scheduling then again minimizing the worker cost worker cost can also be reduced with the help of this operations scheduling these are the some of the objectives of this operation scheduling now functions of this operation scheduling okay the, in this functions of this operations scheduling the allocation of the resources okay this allocation of the resources is one of the major function of this operations scheduling so here this resources are uh, planned and controlled okay then shop floor control this operation should only helps in shop floor control as well as the ma making maximum use of this plant at minimum possible cost okay with this uh, minimum cost utilization of the maximum plant okay so that making of this utilization of the maximum plant okay again this operation scheduling it is a function of this operation scheduling then ensures that the need of needs of this manpower are optimum okay it ensures this need of the manpower are optimum optimum manpower is utilized here the determination of the sequence of the jobs specifying the start and end of time for each job okay that means it is actively scheduled when this operation schedule is actively scheduled then it gives this start and end time at this uh, scheduled at a time then getting quick feedback from the shops regarding the delays and the various interruptions okay then also 
possesses up-to-date information for this availability of the materials, expected delivery dates, etc., etc. Again, it is one of the function of this operating schedules. Then possesses up-to-date data on this machine regarding its breakdown, servicing, maintenance, etc. Okay, it is also one of the function of this OS. Now, types of the scheduling. Okay, there are basically two types of the scheduling. One it is called as forward operation scheduling and second one it is called as backward operations scheduling. Okay, so in this types of this operation scheduling, first one it is forward operations scheduling. Here we can see this scheduled is in uh, forward direction. Okay, so it is classified on the basis of this time. Okay, this forward and backward operation schedulings are classified on the basis of this time. Then all these activities are scheduled from the date of this planned order release. Okay. The first task of this job is schedule. Okay, first task is the scheduled job. Then again, its subsequent task is scheduled on the schedule completion of this first task. Subsequent task in this forward operation scheduling is the completion of the previous scheduled task. Okay. Then like this accordingly all the tasks of this job are scheduled likewise all the tasks are scheduled in this forward direction in this uh, next day after completion of this one schedule so this is called as forward operations scheduling second type is backward operations scheduling okay now here we can see this here it is at this due date and we are going towards this now now here now we are at here okay so also it is on the basis on this type time then activities are scheduled from the date or this planned received date okay this activities are scheduled from this due date or planned received date the last activity is scheduled first okay here we can see this uh, it is due date so therefore this last activity is scheduled at first then second last and likewise towards now okay then time of the start of this last task is considered as the time for this start of the previous activity okay time of the start of this last task is considered as the time of the start of this previous activity or this first activity okay in this backward operations scheduling now after completion of this operation scheduling one more important term in this uh, is computer aided quality control okay now use of this computers in this quality control or this inspection and testing okay now we will see what is mean by this caqc the use of computers for quality control of the product is called as the computer aided quality control or CAQC okay these computers are used uh, here to in order to uh, assure this quality control okay this is called as CAQC the two major parts of this CA quality control are inspection and testing okay inspection and testing are the two major important parts of this quality control which are traditionally performed manually with the help of gauges measuring devices and this testing apparatus okay initially or conventionally these are performed manually but nowadays this these two major parts are of this computer aided quality control are inspection computer aided inspection cai and computer aided testing okay now this inspection and testing are performed with the help of this computers in this caqc this computer aided inspection and computer aided testing are performed by using this latest computer automation and sensor technology okay so computers and sensors by using sensors so this task is performed the objectives of this caqc okay there are some of the objectives to in order to improve the quality of the product okay this caqc is installed in these industries nowadays then again to increase this productivity in this inspection process productivity of the inspection process can be improved with the help of this caqc then again reduces this lead time in manufacturing ok 
okay it reduces this lead time in this manufacturing okay these are the some of the objectives then advantages of this CAPC okay it gives 100% testing and inspection okay computer as these computers are used in this quality control this inspection and testing is uh, productivity of this inspection and testing is improved and therefore this 100% inspection and testing is possible here okay it gives this 100% inspection and testing then inspection integrated with this manufacturing okay this com as this computer aided quality control this inspection is integrated with the manufacturing so it gives this uh, faulty products at, at the manufacturing stage itself okay then again use of non contact sensors here non contact sensors are used uh, for this inspection and testing the computerized feedback control system is installed in this process then integration of this CAQC with CAD and CAM it gives this integration with this computer design and manufacturing okay so we can reduce this uh, scrap as well as we can reduce this faulty failure of these components at the initial stage only okay so these are the some advantages of this computer aided quality control okay. now summary what we learn in this lecture is operations scheduling and computer aided quality control Okay. The scheduling is the allocation of the resources over a period of time to accomplish a specific set of this task. Okay. Then again, this impact of the scheduling can be increased by focusing on the schedules of these bottleneck resources so as to maximize the flow of this total value added funds. Okay. Then again, if the operations scheduling is carried out in a efficient manner, then there then there occurs a considerable improvement in the performance in the delivery okay when we use this operation scheduling in this in industries then the con improvement in the performance in the delivery okay this delivery time is reduced and the performance of this performance is improved here then again it helps in this achievement of the goals that have been set by this company okay this operations scheduling can help in achievement of this goals and that have scheduled by this company or that set by this company okay this is all about this operations scheduling thank you thank you so much friends thanks for watching this video if you like this video please share comment and like this video then subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for more videos on this CAD CAM subject. And thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you so much.